Okay, hello guys. So today you guys are going to start unit two. Now packets are over by the windowsill. So if you guys have not gotten your packets yet, somebody could grab those and pass those out. You are looking for the pile that says integers unit two. That would be fantastic. Um, and you guys are going to do the first couple pages in the packet today. Now integers, just so you know, integers are positive and negative. So you guys mostly up until this point have mostly just worked with positive numbers, but this unit, we're gonna be diving a lot more into negative numbers. And so you guys have probably noticed that you now have these lovely number lines on your desk. This is to help you. This is a visual, if you need to use it, you can. So you can see where the negative numbers are. It can help you count. We're gonna be using the number line a lot for the first few days. So let's open up our packets to page two, where it says adding integers with a number line. So we are using our number line. Could we use a calculator? Of course, but for today, we're not using calculators. I want you guys to use the number line for these. So you can get a feel for what is actually happening when you're adding positive and negative numbers together. All right, so how we're gonna use the number line. The first number you are given, you're gonna find that number on the number line. That's where you're gonna start. So if it's a negative number, find it on that negative side. If it's a positive number, find it on the positive side. You can use the number line on your desk or I provided a number line in the packet for each question. Then you are adding a second number to that. Now if you're adding a positive number, you would move up on the number line. So you would move to the right. If you're adding a negative number, that's like taking away. So you'd be moving down the number line to the left. So here's an example for you. So let's see, example A, so you guys can see that. All right, so what I'm looking for is I want you to take like negative six plus four. So I take my first number, I'm gonna find that on my number line, I'm gonna put my pencil or my, you can use your finger right, right there. So that's where I'm starting, starting at negative six. I'm then going to add four. Now I'm adding a positive four, so that's gonna increase my value. So I'm gonna move four to the right. So I'm gonna move one, two, three, four. And so negative six and add four, I'm still in the negatives, right? Because I'm not adding more than what I've got, but I've moved closer to zero. I ended at negative two. So negative six plus four is negative two. Okay? And that's all we're doing today. We're practicing with our number line. Pretty easy day today. We're starting off the unit really simple. B. This time I'm starting with a positive five. That's my first number. So again, I'm gonna take my little number line that I have over here. I'm gonna start at five, positive five, and I'm going to add a negative two to that. Now adding a negative two, that's like taking away. So I'm going to be moving down the number line two spots. And so I am where I end up, I ended up at positive three. So positive three is the sum of five and negative two. All right? Let's try a couple more. Let's try number, letter C here. Negative three plus one. So again, I'm gonna start my first number is negative three. So I'm gonna start down here on negative three below the zero. <clears throat> I'm gonna only add one to it, but again, I'm adding a positive number. So I should be moving to the right, right? It's gonna increase it. Anytime you're increasing, you're going up the number line. And so I ended at negative two. And so that's what I'm gonna write on my line. All right, and then one more D, let's do this one together. This one, I'm starting at a positive one. So I'm gonna to start to the right of my zero. And I know the numbers are really hard to see on there. So again, if you guys need to use the number lines on your desk, if that, and just move your finger um, along your number line on your desk. We're not writing on these, but if you need to just use your finger because you can see the numbers a little bit better on these, that'd be a good use of those number lines. But we know everything to the right is positive of the zero. Everything to the left of the zero is negative. So <clears throat> again, we're starting at positive one. We're gonna add a negative seven. Now again, we're adding a negative number. So we're going down the number line seven spots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And where did we end up? Negative six. 
So negative six would be my solution or my sum for one and negative seven. How easy is that? All right, so it's kind of, again, I'm just realizing when you are adding a positive number, you are moving up, it's increasing the value. And when you are adding a negative number, it is moving down, it is decreasing the value. All right, now let's flip on over. We're also gonna do page three today. All right, so let's look at the top. I want you guys to try these, okay? So I'm gonna have you guys do these. So again, you're gonna start at your first number and then add the second number. If you add a positive number like this one, you're gonna move up two. So if you start at negative three, everybody put their pencil or finger on your number line, start at negative three, move up two spots. Where do you end up? Hopefully we all said negative one, right? Again, this is what you should have done. You should have started at negative three on your number line, right? The three below zero, and you should have moved to the right two spots, and that would have left you at negative one. What about F? Try that one for me, right? Put your finger or pencil on a positive eight, and then you are adding negative six. You're going to go down six spots. And where do we end up? Hopefully we all said positive two, right? Because again, if I start positive eight, that's on the right side. And if I move down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that is a positive two on the number line. All right, try G for me. Start at positive two on the number line, and then you're adding a negative seven. So hopefully we're going down the number line seven spots. Where do we end up? Should have ended up at negative five. Right again, you're starting right here on your number line, positive two, two to the right of zero, and you are going down seven. So if I go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, notice I ended at the five below zero, so that's negative five. All right, H, starting on the negative side of the number line this time, right? So start at negative five and add three for me. Did we get negative two? Hopefully, yes, right? Again, if you started at negative five, again, so it's the, the five below zero, and you added a positive three, you were going up the number line three spots. So you're still below zero, so your answer is still negative, but it's a positive, If it's a, but it's a two this time, so negative two was your answer, not positive, negative. Okay. Now, try it, see if you can do it without the number line. If you can't, that's okay. Again, you have number lines on your desk. I wanna see if you guys can do, do those four, all right? So again, you can either use the number line on your desk or try it, see how you do without. And we should have, for letter I, we should have gotten a positive two. Now, and one way you can check to see, makes sense logically if you have a positive or a negative, Notice we started with a positive seven. We are taking away five. We're taking away less than we have. So we're not gonna cross the zero. We're still in the positive. So that's how I know I have a positive two here. J, J we couldn't do. Miss Frank had a typo on that one. So ignore that one. Um, K though, you guys did negative six plus three. Hopefully you guys ended up with negative three. And then zero plus negative 10, you guys should have ended up at negative. All right, and that's what we're going to be practicing today. So you guys do have a Delta Math practice. It is posted in Google Classroom um, that you guys are going to finish up on your own. Now again, I don't want you guys to use calculators. I kind of want you guys to use the number lines today. So you have the number lines on your desk. Use them. And then when you are done, please make sure that you turn in. If you do finish early, remember today is the last day you can hand in the extra credit. We got Harry Truman this week. Um, and you also have Spider B number three due next week. So you could always work on that. All right.